Hi everyone, this is Naz here with Peak Realty and I'm here today to give you a virtual tour of my listing here at 57 Recipe Road in Kitchener. So today I'm going to point out quite a few important details about the home. About the home. Um, if you have any questions or concerns, please feel free to DM me or you can put a comment in the comments uh, section below or you can send me a text, give me a call or, or email me. I'm more than happy to assist you. Um, so let's get started. So this home here, 57 Rescue, was built in 1964. Uh, it looks like a bungalow from outside, but it's actually a four level back split. And it's located in, in the highly sought after neighborhood of Forest Hill. It's situated on a quiet and mature street. Uh, just a beautiful place to raise a family. So, some things to point out. Uh, property taxes for this home are $3,344, so that's $3,344, and that's on an annual basis. Uh, the price of this home is $449.9. Now, the lot size is frontage 50 feet, and the depth is 115 feet. So quite a good size lot. So uh, why don't we go and take a walk to the backyard so you guys can have a look. So here's the backyard. Great size, perfect for uh, entertaining, for lounging in. Okay, follow me to the front of the house. I'm just going to point out a few other details. So, this home has a stamped concrete driveway, and you could fit at least four cars on this driveway. Also, we have a covered carport here, so perfect for the winter time. And the roof here was replaced in 2012. So let's go on inside and check it out. So upon entry, you're going to see your kitchen right in front of you. And to your left is your living room. run through the whole living room and dining area and all the way up throughout the upper floor. Now we have large windows in the living room with California shutters. Throughout this whole home are newer windows. Beautiful large windows here. So not only newer windows throughout the whole home, but big windows throughout the whole home, so lots of light. Okay. Now, dimensions for your living room. This living room measures at 11.8 feet by 17.4 feet. And our dining space, which is blended into our living room, measures at 11 feet by 11.7 feet. So quite a large area over here. So we have entrance into our kitchen from the dining space and from the entrance. Tons of, of covered space in this eating kitchen. And your kitchen here measures at, one second, hmm, I missed the measurements for the kitchen, so I will provide that below. On 
your main floor is also a four piece bath. And up a few steps, you'll find two bedrooms. To your right is your master bedroom. And your master bedroom measures at 13.9 feet by 11.7 feet. Quite spacious and as you can see, large windows and uh, newer windows throughout. Here is a linen closet. Okay. Let's head on down to the lower level. So from the kitchen are a few steps to the lower level where you're gonna find an additional two bedrooms. Before we go into the bedrooms, to the right over here is a separate entrance. Oh, this one's bolted shut. So this is a separate entrance from the carport. Here is the third bedroom, and this bedroom measures at 10 feet by 11.5 feet. And here we have a partially finished rest space. Now here is your breaker panel and we have a 100 amp service here. Now one thing that I'd like to point out while we're down here, if you look up, as you can see, there are some missing ceiling, tile, ceiling tiles here. And that happened when the new furnace was installed back in 2015. So all here is the brand new piping. Okay. Let's go into the mechanical room. So to the left here, we have your crawl space, which is underneath the stairs. It's quite dark, so you really can't see it, but there's tons of storage room back there. And then here we have a huge mechanical room. Uh, so laundry hookup here, water softener, hot water heater, which is a rental, and then we have your furnace, which was replaced in 2015. Now 
someone's looking to do renovations down here, um, there is so much potential to make this downstairs space into a larger space by basically moving your walls inwards here, making your mechanical room smaller and your rec room larger. Okay, and then lastly, we have the cold room. tour. Remember, if you have any questions, please contact me, whether it's through social media, text, or email. I'm available from 1 to 1.30 to answer all of your questions. Thank you for joining me on this tour today. I'll see you soon.